Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I will be showing you how to install mods on Minecraft 1.8. Alright, so first things first, you need to find out which uh, which architecture of Windows you have. And this, this uh, tutorial is for Windows only. Okay, so first things first, since if you're on Windows 7, you just hit the, the Windows button and it should show you control panel somewhere along here near your computer if you're on windows 8 um you're gonna have to put your mouse over here somewhere and search control panel unless you know how to do it i'm on windows 10 so i just come down here search it and then there it is right there and i have it open so what you kind of want to do is you want to go to system and security you want to go to system okay and then right here system type uh, it says 64-bit operating system. If you have 64-bit, it'll say what this says. If you have 32, it'll say 32-bit operating system, x86-based processor. Um, x86 equals 32-bit, x64 equals 64-bit. Self-explanatory. Um, uh, another thing that I want to add is if you have 3 gigs or below, your operating system should be... Um, 32-bit uh, if it's 4 or above it should be 64 and I have 24 gigs of RAM so um, it is 64-bit now that we have that out of the way now if, uh, what you will need to do is you need to download Java um, and I will have links for everything that you need to download in the description so you can uh, you can go down there and and find those uh, this is 32-bit and this is 64 um, if you're running 32-bit operating system, you want the 32-bit. If you're running 64-bit, you want the 64-bit and the 32-bit. Uh, it runs smoother when it has both, as it says right here. Um, anyway, uh, download those, go through the installation, um, and then you'll be able to run Minecraft. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to minecraft.net and I cannot spell um, you want to go to minecraft.net where you can download and buy minecraft if you do not have it bought already uh, you can download it here if you already have it bought you can download the X exe or the msi uh, either one works and then you just run it and uh, you go from there uh, if you have not played or downloaded Minecraft 1.8 yet, you need to do so, and I will show you how right now. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to Edit Profile, all right, then you want to go to Use Version, and what you want to do is it may it should be on Use Latest Version unless you changed it before, but what you want to do is you want to go down and change it to Release 1.8, all right, and then you want to hit Save Profile, all right. And if you have not played on 1.8 before, it should say ready to download and play Minecraft 1.8. But I have, so it says ready to play Minecraft 1.8. So what you're going to want to do is if you don't have it downloaded, you want to hit play. And it will download Minecraft 1.8 for you. And it, it will launch when it's finished. And it's taking a while to load. Okay, there it is. Alright, so Minecraft 1.8. Alright. Um, I'm looking at my recording and it's a bit laggy. Okay. Well, it shows Minecraft 1.8 right here. So what you're going to want to do is you want to hit quit game. Uh, that's all you need to do. You have Minecraft 1.8 downloaded. And then what you want to do after that is you want to head over to Minecraft Forge. And you don't have to search this, there will be a link in the description. Alright, and then uh, you want to download the recommended. Alright, and it should be on 1.8, but if it's not, uh, just come over here, click on that, but I can't because it's on 1.8. And they also have other versions of Minecraft available for Forge. Um, and here are all the ones there. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to download the recommended. Uh, you can download the latest, I don't recommend it though. Um, I recommend this one like they do. Uh, just hit uh, and download installer window. Just click on that. It'll bring you over to an ad. 
You have to wait for this time to run down. And then you hit skip. And then it's downloading right there. Alright. Then you want to bring up downloads. And then I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel that. Alright. And then when it's finished downloading, I always hit remove from list. You don't have to, though. Alright. And then you want to go to your downloads folder, which is here. And then you want to run this. It should be named Forge hyphen 1.8 hyphen 11.14.3.1450 hyphen installer hyphen win uh, it should be 1450 right there okay you want to double click on that hit yes alright and then here this is the minecraft forge installer you wanna you wanna keep install client up um, and then this this is your directory to your Minecraft folder, which shouldn't be changed. I don't think you can. Uh, and then you hit OK. All right, and it's going to download these files that it needs for Forge. And we wait. It might go faster than mine, it might go slower than mine. It all depends on your internet connection. Although right now I'm tethering off my phone. Okay, and then it says it successfully installed Minecraft Forge version, blah, 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 and grabbed 11 required libraries, which means files or folders that it needed to run. All right, so you just want to click OK. And then you want to go back to your minecraft.exe or minecraft application. You want to double click on that. And then it will launch the Minecraft launcher. And then what you want to do is you want to go over here to profiles. And you click on this little arrow or the bar. And you want to hit or you click on forge. And then it will say ready to update and play Minecraft 1.8 forge. And then it will say the forge version. And then you want to hit play. And it will download and update itself for Minecraft Forge. And it looks like it is loading some mods right now. Okay, and we have this now. I'm using XSplit, and I'm using screen record or screen capture, and I'm not I'm not actually recording from uh, like I'm not actually recording the application itself, so it's going to be a little laggy. Um, but as you can see here, uh, three mods loaded, three mods active, Minecraft Forge, blah blah blah, blah all that stuff, and then you can click on mods. And it will show all the mods that you have on or enabled. Alright, and then you're pretty much done installing Forge. You want to hit quit game. Okay, and then, okay, the lag stopped. Alright, good. And then you want to come over here and you want to go to skydaz.com. And uh, as I said before, the link will be in the description below. Alright, and here you want to click on mine or skydaz installers and uh, 1.8 installers. Now you can install mods without an installer, uh, but this is a very, very easy way to install mods. It's very simple, and it has a nice uh, GUI. All right, so basically you can just browse this list and pick whatever mods uh, interest you. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a random one, and uh, we can do this one. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I had a little problem with my internet, but I cut it out of the video, which you already know. Um, so what you're going what you're going to want to do is actually I'll I'll uh, do this. So there's the title of the mod, and here's the description of it, and then blah 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 blah. Um, and then here's some screenshots, and then here are the downloads. What you want to do is you want to download. Uh, the exe, the executable file, which is right here, and um, 
and you just click on this link here all right and then you hit download here all right and then it's downloading the the executable all right then you can get rid of that Okay, and then you want to, uh, hold on, okay, alright, and then you want to go to your downloads folder and find it, which is right here, and what I do is I cut it, and then what you want to go to is you want to go to the, uh, to the search bar, or the, uh, the directory bar, and you want to type in percent app data percent, and hit enter. And then you want to hit mine dot Minecraft, all right. And then you want to go to mods, and you want to paste the the executable there, all right. And then you want to double click on it, and then here's the GUI or the GUI, all right. And then what you want to do is you want to hit click on this little tab, yeah, click on the little tab or arrow, um, click on 1.8. Okay, and then hit install mod. Uh, you can back up Minecraft before installing. Uh, you don't have to. I never do. Uh, so I hit no. And then right now it's it's loading the mod files, and it will download them for you. And it is literally this simple. You just follow these uh, the instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. You should be able to find it out and uh, get through it and then it's done there you go alright and then you're ready to play minecraft with mods alright then you come back over to to your uh, minecraft.exe and you launch it and it'll, it'll bring up the minecraft launcher alright and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have forge selected as, as your profile alright and then what you want to do uh, you don't you don't have to do what I'm doing right now it's not a it's not a necessity I'm just making it to where it'll use 8 gigs of memory okay there we go alright I didn't see it will do that alright and then you want to hit play and it will no hold on I messed up something Okay. Sorry about that. I I just typed in the wrong, the wrong, uh, the wrong characters there. Okay. Well, it's good now. All right. And it's loading up. I don't know if it'll do this every time. Um, it might. It might not. I don't know. This is my first time playing. Uh. Minecraft 1.8 with uh, with mods, so I, I, I couldn't tell you. All right. Okay, so now I'm now I am uh, recording the actual application, so there there's not gonna be any lag. All right, so what you're gonna want to do is you want to click on mods, and it will show whatever mods you downloaded, which I downloaded the Architecture Craft mod, and it shows the version right there, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna show the mod here. I don't need that. I can delete that. Create a new world. Do creative. Um, okay. All right. Let's get started. Okay. There we go. It's loading chunks currently. Well, it's loaded enough. All right. So we're in Minecraft 1.8, and uh, let's see what mods we have going on here. Now, this is my first time using this mod. Okay. So I see we have banners. Wait, no, that's that's already been there. Okay. Architectural block. Architecture. And that beacon, that's been there. Okay. I mean, you can see really what, what the mod has added when you go to uh, search items. Because it'll, it'll show every item that's in the game. Um, no, I've never used this mod, so I don't know what it added and what it didn't. Close to dust. Okay. I know these are new. Let's see what else here. Uh, 
Okay, that is new. That is new. That is new. I'm. Yeah, that's new. Okay, and then it looks like these are books. Okay. Alright, well, that's what's new right now, currently. Um, no, I'm not too sure how to use it. Slaw bench. Architectural block. I don't know what these things. Just like a roof. We now have slanted blocks in Minecraft. So that looks like it's all, the, all that the mod does. Oh wait, you can create new blocks too. Like, how do you... Okay, well I have no idea how to use this. Alright, well. I have now shown you how to successfully install mods onto Minecraft 1.8. Uh, which was very, very easy to do in my opinion. Uh, your opinion may differ, but... Anyway, uh, I hope you liked the video. If you thought it was helpful and it actually did help you, uh, give it a like. If your feelings are more complex than that, uh, comment down below. And if you liked the video and you like my content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. See you.